Hey guys, how you doing today? Sorry I haven't done a video in a while, um, but I am back with some interesting news about this uh, rare uh, penny. Uh, I'll get to this in a moment. I have a couple of other things I wanted to mention before we get to this penny, so let me switch over. CCT's fake silver coin slide detector is back in stock. You put the coin on here and let it slide, and if it sticks uh, snug onto the slide, then it's fake, uh, and if it slides too fast, then it's also fake it should slide down slowly down the slide then it's actual silver okay so these are back in stock and this one is the granite budget slide and that is going to be i think i have three in stock and as far as pricing is concerned you're going to have to email me uh, if you want to purchase it directly through me that would be the cheaper way to purchase the slide but if you want to purchase the slide on the eBay store, you can do that as well, and I'll leave a link down below. But it will be a lot more uh, to cover the eBay fees and all that stuff. Okay, so either way, you can you can contact me or you can buy with the eBay link. Uh, one of the, th I mean, if you want to buy with eBay, maybe you should wait until the next 15% uh, coupon comes out. Uh, but then again, somebody might just buy it, so that's up to you. Okay. Here's another view of the granite slide. And I have one more. This one is the exotic bamboo wood slide. Uh, it has a nice look to it. Uh, you know, it has the uh, the bamboo on, on here. And then it has the, the Velcro. It looks really cool, right? Uh, black with this bamboo is really nice looking. Uh, these are very dense hardwood, so the weight of the slide is going to be a little bit heavier than the other ones. I think it's like 14 ounces altogether. And this one's going to be a little bit more money. Um, so, you know, the pricing and stuff you'll see on the eBay store or you can contact me. I'm going to leave an email address down below so you can just send me an email and uh, I'll send you information about pricing and how to purchase one. Both slides are foldable so you can, you know, just put it away in your desk or something like that like this. So uh, yeah, that's the CCT slide. I have three of these and I have two of these. Let me know if you're interested and I'll hook you up with these, okay? I got an email from Provident about this uh, deal here. You can get these uh, dimes. These are all silver, junk silver dimes, quarters and half dollars. And it's all 11.48. Uh, I guess you choose. I don't know exactly how, oh, looks like they're out of stock. No, 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 no. These are out of stock. You can get it, you know, just by adding here. You have to read down here what you will receive. Your order will be comprised of any combination of 90% silver coins, including modern silver proofs, 1992 to present. The designs and dates of the coins you receive are based on available inventory and may or may not contain an assortment. Coins may show signs of aging and wear. The majority of coins will have dates. However, some dates have worn off. Regardless, you'll receive at least 0.75 uh, ounces of silver. Coins are not bent or hold. These coins offer investors an affordable. Okay, so basically it's like a combination pack. You, you, you're not sure what you're going to get. And some of these dates might be worn off. But uh, this, they're guaranteeing that it's uh, at least 0.715 troy ounces of silver. So I will leave a link down below for this. And the best Silver Eagle uh, offering that I saw right now, a lot of them are like close to, you know, $380 to $90 a roll. But this will get you down to $350 something a roll if you buy five rolls altogether uh, from uh, bullion exchanges. I think I did the math here. Let me just double check here. $1788. Uh, divided by five rolls, right? Yeah, so 357 times 0.98 if you use a credit card with 2% cash back. So it comes out to 350 per roll. Not bad, but you do have to pay a good amount uh, to get it, okay? So I'll leave a link down below for this. And now it's time to talk about the penny. This is the 1943 error penny. Um, it recently went for auction, and I'm going to tell you what the price, you know, how much it sold for. Um, but uh, uh, this was found back long ago in 1947, right? So I'm going to read like a little uh, script here that they have. Um, it says, a Massachusetts teenager found the penny 
in his change from lunch money, and it could be worth as much as uh, 1.65 million uh, when it is auctioned off. All right, and so the auction's already over, so I'm going to tell you how much it sold for. Uh, but the projections were around 1.65 million, right? And um, let me show you the back here, back of the coin. So it's a little different, you know, this is the old design. It's not the design that we have now. Uh, it says one cent United, uh, United uh, States of America. And then it has like the, the wheat thing going here on the, on, on the sides here. So I think these are called wheat pennies. I'm not 100% sure, but it looks like wheat over here. So at least now you got to see uh, one of the most rarest U.S. coins um, that we know of. Okay, so let me continue. The 1943 Lincoln penny is made up of um, copper, right? And mostly, like, I think it's just all copper. And has been described as one of the most famous error coin ever made according to Heritage Coins. Uh, and then there were only like 20 of these ever made, right? And for many, many years, the U.S. government has denied its existence. But one coin was found by an individual named Don Lutz Jr. in his school cafeteria back in March 1947 and now he thought it would be time to auction off the uh, the penny coin here and it says here PCGS coin facts estimates that the surviving population is at no more than 10 to 15 examples in all grades now despite relentless uh, searching by eager collectors over a long time um, more than 70 years right only a handful of legitimate specimens have ever been discovered so in the 1940s, copper was basically considered as a strategic metal because of the war back then. And uh, it was used to make, you know, like copper was used to make shell casings, telephone wire, and other wartime necessities at the time. So to use um, copper for money, I guess that that's not what they wanted to do. So they preserved the metal by uh, creating the 1943 Lincoln pennies with uh, like a zinc coating and steel, right? And so um, there were only a, a, a tiny fraction of these pennies that were put into circulation uh, that was just made from copper only, right? So that's what makes this penny so, so rare. So before the auction, experts were thinking this valued somewhere in the $1.6 million range and let me switch over to the actual sold price now here it is rare 1943 lincoln cent sells for 2000 no not 2000 204000 at heritage auctions right so um unfortunately it didn't reach the million dollar range but still for a penny that you found back in 1937 or whatever it was uh, was it no 1947 I'm sorry about that yeah like you, you found the penny in 1947 now it's $200,000 that's pretty good right so um, uh, Orlando here a rare 1943 Lincoln cent found in a teens high school cafeteria pocket change sold for $204,000 Thursday evening January 10th at a public auction of US coins held in Orlando Florida by Heritage Auctions, the world's largest coin auctioner, more than 30 bids quickly pushed the coin past its pre-auction estimate of $170,000. The rarity was mistakenly minted in bronze uh, instead of zinc-coated steel, which was needed to save copper and bronze to fill metal shortages during World War II. That's pretty much what I said before. At the time, United States Minister steadfastly denied such coin existed until the truth came out in 1947 after teenage Don, teenager Don Lutz found the first bronze Lincoln cent in pocket change from its from his high school cafeteria in Spitzfield, Massachusetts. Only 15, 10 to 15 examples of the 1943 bronze Lincoln cents are known to exist. So, yeah, that's a pretty cool um, story here. Uh, the reason why I found it, uh, found this uh, article, uh, really was because I searched for it. A friend of mine, uh, she's from uh, overseas. Uh, her name is Kay, actually. Uh, she told me about, you know, some kind of like coin, you know, like a rare find, and she saw it on TV, and it wasn't in, it wasn't in America, right? 
I'm like, all right, I'll check it out. Well, I wonder what it is. So um, she said it was a quarter. So I think it's a different coin that she was talking about. And that quarter sold for millions. But this one here that I found, I Googled it. And the most recent rare find uh, coins was about this one. And a penny sells for $204,000. So that's it in a nutshell about this penny coin here. Uh, you can actually go to this page. I'll le leave a link down below for this page too. And then you can click here. And you'll get a folder for images. And you can look at the high resolution images in Photoshop or JPEG. Download them and check it out yourself on your own computer. Pretty nice of them for Heritage Auction to allow us to see this type of coin. You know, this is pretty cool. So thanks for watching. If you're brand new to the channel, uh, please hit the subscribe with the alert notifications. And if you found the video useful, please give it a thumbs up. And I will speak to you guys later. If you have any comments or questions, leave them down below. Thanks.